Welcome to YQ Academy SQL Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is a composite key? A composite key, also known as a composite primary key, is a key that consists of multiple columns in a database table. Unlike a single column primary key, which uses a single column to uniquely identify each record, a composite key uses a combination of two or more columns to achieve uniqueness. 2. The fine SQL insert statement. The SQL insert statement is used to insert or add new records rows into a table in a database. It allows you to specify the values to be inserted into the columns of the table. Here is an example of an SQL insert statement that inserts a new record into a hypothetical employee's table. In this example, the insert statement inserts a new record into the employee's table. The values specified correspond to the columns employee underscore it, first underscore name, last underscore name, and salary, respectively. 3. A find SQL update statement. The SQL update statement is used to modify existing records rows in a table within a database. It allows you to update the values of one or more columns in the table based on specified conditions. Example of an SQL update statement. In this example, the update statement modifies the salary column of the employee's table for the record where the employee underscored is 101. It sets the new value of the salary column to 5,500. 4. The fine SQL delete statement. The SQL delete statement is used to remove existing records rows from a table in a database. It allows you to delete one or more records based on specified conditions. Example of an SQL delete statement. In this example, the delete statement removes the record from the employee's table where the employee underscored is 101. The entire row associated with that employee will be deleted. 5. What are wildcards used in database for pattern matching? In SQL, wildcard characters are used for pattern matching in queries to search for data that matches a specific pattern. The two commonly used wildcard characters are the percent sign percent and the underscore underscore. 1. Percent sign percent. The percent sign represents zero or more characters. It can be used in combination with other characters to match patterns. For example, like a percent matches any value starting with a. Like percenting matches any value ending with thing. Like percent book percent matches any value containing book anywhere in the string. 2. Underscore underscore. The underscore represents a single character. It can be used in combination with other characters to match patterns where you want to specify the presence of a single character at a particular position. For example, like underscore at matches any three-letter word ending with at, such as cat, bat, or hat. Like j underscore underscore and matches any five-letter word starting with j and ending with n, such as Jason, Johan, or June. These wildcard characters can be used with the like operator in SQL queries. The like operator allows you to perform pattern matching comparisons against string values. Here's an example of using wildcards in a query. This query selects all records from the employee's table where the first underscore name column starts with the letter J. The percent sign percent tax as a wild card to match any characters following the J. 6. The find join and explain different types of join. Join is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. It allows you to retrieve data from multiple tables simultaneously by establishing a logical relationship between them. Join operations are fundamental in database querying and enable you to extract meaningful information from related tables. Types of joins commonly used in SQL. 1. Inner join. Inner join returns only the matching rows from both tables based on the specified join condition. It selects records where the join condition is satisfied in both tables. Here's an example. In this example, the inner join combines the rows from Tia BLE1 and Tia BLE2 based on the matching values in the specified columns. 2. Left join or left outer join. A left join returns all the rows from the left table the table specified before the join keyword and the matching rows from the right table based on the join condition. 
If there is no match, null values are returned for the columns of the right table. Here's an example. In this example, the left join retrieves all rows from Tia BLE1 and the matching rows from Tia BLE2. If there are no matches, null values are returned for the columns of Tia BLE2. 3. Right join or right outer join. A right join returns all the rows from the right table the table specified after the join keyword and the matching rows from the left table based on the join condition. If there is no match, null values are returned for the columns of the left table. Here's an example. In this example, the right join retrieves all rows from Tia BLE2 and the matching rows from Tia BLE1. If there are no matches, null values are returned for the columns of Tia BLE1. Four. Full join or full outer join. A full join returns all the rows from both tables, including the unmatched rows. It combines the results of both the left and right joins. If there is no match, null values are returned for the columns of the opposite table. Here's an example. In this example, the full join retrieves all rows from both Tia BLE1 and Tia BLE2. If there are no matches, Null values are returned for the columns of the opposite table. 5. Cross join or Cartesian join. A cross join returns the Cartesian product of rows from both tables, meaning it combines each row from the first table with every row from the second table. It does not require a join condition. Here's an example. In this example, the cross join combines every row from Tia BLE1 with every row from Tia BLE2 resulting in a combination of all possible pairs. 7. What is self-join? A self-join is a type of join in SQL where a table is joined with itself. In other words, it is a join operation performed on a single table, treating it as two separate instances or aliases. By using self-joins, you can create logical relationships within a table and retrieve related data based on matching values in different rows of the same table. To perform a self-join, you need to use table aliases to differentiate between the two instances of the table. Each instance is given a unique alias, which is then used to reference the columns from that particular instance. Example. In this example, the employees table is self-joined to retrieve the names of employees and their corresponding managers. The table is aliased as E1 and E2, representing two different instances of the same table. The join condition specifies that the manager underscore column of E1 should match the employee underscore column of E2, establishing the relationship between an employee and their manager. This is the end of our SQL interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.